expansion and renovation of our community center. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Parks and Rec staff, led by our new director, Leslie Herman. Um, we have here uh, John King, Brian Harrington, Missy Adams, Connor Duffy, Gary Lawrence, Sam Lilly, Kareem Campbell, Nick Jester, John Bixby, Tony White, Leon Evans, Nick Jones, Brandy Wyatt, Brian Hannison, Kathy Blevins, Sum, Peggy Tammy, Sandy Joy, and Libby. <laughs> <laughs> On April 16, 1966, the community center was dedicated before a packed crowd of town residents. Now, almost 50 years later, and three minor renovations, we are doing a complete renovation and expansion of your community center to include relocating of the WNOD trail, a new gymnasium, relocation of the entrance to the community center, and updating the infrastructure. We will have a community meeting beginning November or December at 6.30 p.m. prior to council meetings to update residents on the progress of the center. We will do monthly, monthly updates on our website at viennava.gov and in the town newsletter. For those of, of you that don't know, we have moved to the Cedar Park Shopping Center at 262 M Cedar Lane Southeast. You need to come visit us, but not all at one time, but you won't fit. <laughs> um, it's above neighbors across from Thoreau. Uh, we would like to thank the following for their accommodation of our classes and programs, the Vienna Fallen Deer Fire Department, the Vienna Baptist Church, the Vienna Presbyterian Church, Patrick Henry Library, Town Hall, and our own Bowman House. Please look in our brochure for details. And with a special thank you from the staff and our department, we'd like to thank uh, our former director, Kathy Salgado, for spending the last couple of years getting, to, uh, getting us to this point. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor, Mayor Lori DeRocco. Good afternoon. I am happy to see all of you here for the groundbreaking of the expansion and renovation of the Vienna Community Center. The town is embarking on this project because we want citizens of all ages to have a variety of recreational options in an updated, energy efficient, and convenient place. So I'd like to make some introductions as well with my fellow council members. Um, I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Linda Colbert. If you could just raise your hand or stand. Councilwoman Edith Kelleher. Councilwoman Carrie Sinicki. Councilman Howard Springsteen. And Councilwoman Tara Voigt. I would also like to um, recognize a former councilwoman, Lori Cole, who sits in the audience, who also was at the beginning of this project. We also have one of our state representatives here, um, State Delegate Mark Keene. Thank you so much for being here. Representatives. Okay. I'd also let to. Uh, I believe there's some representatives from Luke Meyer. Is there someone from Luke Meyer here? Yeah, they are, are the architects and planners for this project. And anyone, anyone from Keller Construction? Okay, great. Thank you so much. They are um, who will be building this project. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. Um, the celebrating. We're, we're so grateful to have everyone here to celebrate this groundbreaking. It is truly a community event, and the community center is one of the main hubs of the town. The planning for this expansion and renovation started back in 2010 and 11 with citizens' meetings asking what are the needs of the community. The town council and staff had to prepare over the last few years for the financing of the renovation, the relocation of staff and equipment, and the movement of all community center programs and events to other locations throughout town. It was a very big task. And I'd like to thank the town's Park and Recreation Department for taking the lead on this and managing the entire project. They have really done a wonderful job. So let's give them a hand. So today we are breaking ground on this site, and we have a lot to look forward to with the renovated community center. The WNOD trail will be moved outside of the parking lot to avoid conflicts with people entering and leaving the building. The parking lot will be reconfigured and new parking spaces will be added. The existing facilities will be upgraded and new heating and air conditioning systems will be added. 
A full-size gymnasium will be added to serve a variety of user groups, and this will be the first town building to be LEED Silver certified, and the building will have greater energy efficiency. So overall, the town wanted to balance the need for change while preserving our history and small town character. So the outside, uh, the outside brick here will remain, um, as well as the bones of the original structure. So you'll have the old within the new. And this leads me to introduce a person who over the years has been involved in every aspect of life in Vienna and is part of the history of the original community center that was constructed in 1966. Maude Robinson was first appointed to council in 2000 to fill the term of Jane Seaman, who was elected mayor following the death of Maude's husband, Charlie. Maude served as councilwoman for nine years before retiring in 2009. Maude also served on a number of town boards, including the Architectural Review Board and the Town Business Liaison Committee. She was a member, and this is a long list, of Historic Vienna Inc., Air Hill Garden Club, American Legion, Vienna Arts Society, Vienna Women's Club, Friends of the Library, and an honorary member of the Vienna Rotary Club. Maude Robinson was appointed as second vice president for the committee to build the community center in August 1961. So I, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Maude Robinson. Thank you very much, Lori DeRocco. She's a brave woman. When you ask an elderly lady to quote unquote say a few words, <laughs> you're in trouble. Hi, John King. I see you out there. Uh, I thought maybe a little history wouldn't hurt to really appreciate what we have here. I, when she talked about the old bones, well, the old bones are telling you, yes, <laughs> this structure has been here for 50 years, the core, but it really has. And it just shows what can happen to a community when the town, the citizens, the business people, the professionals, they all come together. Bill Nutter, whose name, J. William Nutter, uh, I don't know if it's still enshrined over the door to the gym, but we owe that man a tremendous debt of gratitude. He was a member of the Vienna Host Lions Club, and I expect Edith Kelleher, who is a current member, to be here somewhere. I think she was. In September of 1961, the mayor, Guy Wilson, called a meeting at the town hall of representatives from all the town organizations. And Bill Nutter was the point man for the Vienna Host Lions Club, who had put away just a couple of thousand dollars toward a community building. Now, a lot of us have been talking for a couple of years about how much we needed a community building for Vienna, but we didn't know how to go about it. Bill Nutter was the consummate leader. Uh, he could have been a general. He was unflappable. He was good humored. He kept us all united. And we came from various organizations. We were all strong-willed people. And it wasn't always easy to keep us all on the same track. But Bill did it. That was in September. By October, he had created the uh, Vienna Community Center Corporation, nonprofit corporation. And our goal was to develop a plan to get a community center, to raise some money. The town had no money to give us. This was gonna come from the citizens, the business community, good people. Our goal was 125,000. Reality kicked in. I want to tell you, in 1961, 125,000 was like talking half a million now. Everybody thought we were crazy. So we reduced our goal to 85,000. And we spent the next couple of years finding out what should we really try to get. We consulted recreation experts. We figured out the minimum size building that would be adequate. We had an architect member who did the rendering. We had a PR man who did us a wonderful brochure. And finally, we were ready to go and we kicked off a fundraising campaign. By 1963, we had $65,000. Now, we reduced our goal to $85,000. Where were we going to get the other money? So back to the mayor, Guy Wilson, who really backed us, and the town stepped up to the plate. By 1963, we had some 500 volunteers 
out in this town going to organizations. Of course, we had organization representatives, the business community, the professionals. I think we covered at least 50% of the residents. So we knew time to start, and we had a big dinner at the uh, at James Madison High School. We had good contacts in the initial group. Incidentally, I wanted, who was it, Amy Jo? I think I was first vice president <laughs> that first year. <laughs> Bill Nutter was president. Um, anyway, uh, we had a speaker who was well known in Washington, give us this great pep talk. We had every organization primed to stand up and make a pledge. I pledged $1,000 for the women's club, and they nearly tarred and feathered me. <laughs> but we got it. And by 1965, half a century ago, we had the groundbreaking for this building. Now, when we undertook to start the whole thing, um, it was to be truly a community building. And so the first section, the groundbreaking in April of 1965, in April of 1966, I have the 17th, not the 19th, uh, we had the dedication ceremony. And I really found and liked what BCC Incorporated said then. They deeded to the town as a gift from the citizens to themselves, for their children, and for the future. And certainly for the future resonates. Then it outgrew itself. I mean, people really flocked here. Organizations, uh, individuals, we had classes, we had everything. We needed more room. And the two-story addition was added in 1968, and then in 1988, the auditorium. And I go through all these dates, which are kind of dull, because I think we need to respect not only this building, for which the town donated the land to BCC, but what it represents about the spirit of the Vienna community. All facets of the community working together with the town government, it just shows what you can do. You know, we all know the classic, don't ask what you, that your country can do for you, what you can do for your country. And I think Vienna exemplifies what you can do for your community. I think the spirit of that dwells in this building. Keep it safe. Don't ever call it a recreation center. Always keep me at a community center because it's truly a part of this community. And I am just delighted to have been a part of it. And I only wish that some of the Lions Club members that were alive then and that Bill Nutter, who really deserves our heartfelt thanks, could be here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today and for making the Community Center a reality for residents back then and now and today as we continue. Um, I would also like to introduce two other people, um, Mark Vienna and Bob Forbes from Vienna Youth Incorporated. They're over here in the town. I have to say the town is very grateful to VYI for their willingness to donate to this project and make an investment in the Vienna community. Um, when the idea of the community center renovation came up, VYI immediately wanted to contribute since they knew the community center expansion would benefit youth sports and school aged children in the Vienna area. So I want to thank them so much for their donation and ask Mark or Bob if they'd like to come up and please say a few words. Uh, thank you all very much. Uh, I think Maud summed up a great deal of what and why we're here. It's a collaboration and partnership uh, made possible by the thousands of Vienna Youth Incorporated families. But none of this would have happened unless everybody gets together and talks about, figures out what we want to do and how we're going to do it. And, and we're glad to be a part of it. And uh, the bulldog of the whole thing, in kind terms, was Kathy Salgado. We thank her for that. And now she's handed all the problems off of construction, tardiness, and all that to, to Leslie. 
the council's going to back off, the staff's going to back off, it's all yours. <laughs> but uh, in, in fairness and uh, to all the families, this wouldn't be possible. We have a great organization, and there isn't another place in the county that has what Vienna has and what is summed up by what everybody here said. Um, you know, Watersfield, this, Linden Park, go on and on, Jonas, everything. It's, it's a town effort, and uh, we're glad to be a part of it and certainly support it. And uh, good luck and on time. Contractors on time. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Mark, and thank you, VYI. So, this is the moment we've been waiting for, groundbreaking. The front of the community center is going to be over there, but we're going to do our groundbreaking right back here. So, if the council members would like to grab their hard hats and their shovels, we can just turn around and, and go back there. Does that sound good? this project and what it means to the residents of Vienna. Our department is committed to providing quality recreation programs and services and support to town events. This will be the beginning of a 15 to 18 month uh, process, hopefully 15 months, and we look forward to coming back in late 2016, early 2017 for a ribbon cutting ceremony for the newly renovated and expanded Vienna Community Center, which I might add, this was the original location in 1966 where the ribbon cutting ceremony was held. So we look forward to seeing you uh, back soon, and we thank you for coming, and please come up and enjoy some of these dirt worm cupcakes. Thank you. Thank you.